Hi everyone! Welcome to Poughkeepsie Food Power at Home. I'm Ilea. I'm a farmer at Clove Valley Community Farm and a teacher here at Poughkeepsie Farm Project. And we are making Italian zoodle spaghetti today in the video. So if you like this video, hit subscribe and give us a thumbs up and have a great time cooking. Zucchini, also known as summer squash, are part of the cucurbit family, which includes cucumbers, squash, and gourds. You might have noticed that cucurbits grow well in the summer, considering three out of four summer recipes for Poughkeepsie Food Power at Home have featured the squash family. Which part of the plant is the zucchini? Root, stem, leaf, flower, or fruit? Hmm, ah, oh, you got it, it's the fruit. Zucchini have been grown for thousands of years, having first been cultivated by Mexican farmers. Zucchini and summer squash are part of the three sisters, corn, beans, and squash. To make zoodle spaghetti, you will need two large zucchini, three to four fresh tomatoes, one sweet onion, two cloves of garlic, a bunch of basil, one cup Italian cheese blend or Parmesan, and an optional loaf of Italian bread. You'll also need some salt, pepper, and olive oil or vegetable oil. The tools you'll need for this dish are a cutting board, kid or adult chef knife, a vegetable spiralizer, a deep pot, and a large spoon. One optional item is a grater. Hey, first you're going to start your recipe by working with the garlic. So you want to take the garlic out of the peel by pressing on top of the clove with your heel of your hand on the knife. Loosen the peel that way. Um, I have two cloves of garlic, which is plenty for me, but if you really like garlic, you could add more. And I'm gonna just make slices of garlic, turn them sideways, cut across, and then cut them the other way to mince them. You could also use a grater. You've probably seen that in previous videos. You just use a fine side of the grater um, and that'll make a nice mince for your garlic and you can keep your fingers safe. That's really great for kids to do. Nice, okay. And you can chop it finer if you like. I kind of like the chunky garlic, so I'm gonna leave that the way that it is. And we're going to add a sweet onion also. So just slice off the top of the onion and the root of the onion. Cut it down the center and remove the peels. So the great thing about sweet onion is that um, onions have uh, sulfur that's released when they're cut. And the sulfur connects with an enzyme in the onion that's sort of stored there. And when you cut it, um, these two compounds come together and they create uh, a chemical that actually burns your eyes. That's why you get that, that stinging in your eyes or tears when you're cutting onions. But sweet onions don't have very much sulfur, so they are a little bit easier on the eyes. So I'm just dicing the onion by making long strips and turning the onion sideways and then cutting across to make the dice. Great. Now that we've diced our onion, we're going to cook the onion. So I have a single electric burner here. Um, works really well for setting up the sauce. We're going to use a little bit of olive oil. You could use whatever vegetable oil you have. And I'm first going to cook the onions by themselves for a little while. So I'm going to add the onions to the pot. And we'll cook them for about three or four minutes just until they start to look a little translucent or clear. Okay, so the onion's been cooking. It's getting softened and it's looking a little see-through or translucent. So I'm going to add the garlic and let that cook for a few more minutes. So all the garlic goes in there. Give it a stir. Should be sizzling, but not, um, you don't wanna see it burn or brown. Okay, so we're gonna go on and do the tomatoes next. So you need about three to four large tomatoes. They could be whatever color, whatever kind of tomato you have. 
And if you did the salsa video with us, then you definitely saw um, how to work with these tomatoes. We're gonna remove some of the seed by quartering the tomatoes, so slicing them into four pieces. If they have a stem on there, you can just twist that off and remove it. Love the beautiful colors of these tomatoes. Great. You want to turn them over and just quickly cut off that spot where the stem connected to the tomato. It's a little bit hard on that spot. It's just going to remove that and put it into compost. All right, you've quartered the tomatoes. You took off of the stem and now you're just going to use your fingertips and just pull out any of the seeds that are from the inner chambers. And what that's going to do is just help your tomato sauce cook down and thicken a lot faster. Um, you actually don't, it's not, it's, <laughs> did you see that tomato fountain that just happened? Um, it's not a requirement and if you don't have the time don't worry about it. Just dice your tomatoes um, and go ahead and use them like that. But this is going to help remove some of the water so that the tomato sauce is a little thicker. Just a couple more. Mmm, those onions and garlic smell delicious. Okay, so you know the drill. We're going to dice our tomatoes slicing across. Lay those slices down flat and cut into some strips, and then just turn them sideways and give them a dice again. So go ahead and go all the way through all of your tomatoes and add them into the pot. And I'll see you back here for the next step after that. Okay, here we go. These gorgeous tomatoes going in. Excellent. So we're gonna let them cook down. So they start to release some of their juice, maybe cook off a little bit if you want it to be a thicker tomato sauce. Um, so I'll leave them on pretty high heat until I see them simmering and then turn it down. So you can use zucchini or you could use yellow summer squash with this recipe. And we are going to use the spiralizer from Microplane in order to make the zoodles. So zucchini noodles. We're going to make zoodles with this. What I love about the Microplane spiralizer is that the cutting piece is inside. So it's safer for kids' hands. Um, it has two sizes. So you could do a carrot in this one and a cucumber or summer squash in the other one. Um, and it's really, it stays sharp for a really long time. So I'm going to just start by cutting the ends off of the zucchini. Could use adult chef knife or kids chef knife for that. And then you're gonna turn the zucchini in the spiralizer just like you would turn a pencil in a pencil sharpener. And you wanna keep the zucchini inside of the spiralizer while you're twisting. So if you remove it out, it's just gonna break the noodle and it'll just start over again. Cool, right? So go ahead and finish spiralizing all of the zucchini and we'll finish this dish together. Okay, that's as far as I could twist down. So I might save the ends of these zucchini and cut them up and put them in another dish. Uh, okay, look at these beautiful zoodles. So we're gonna add all of the zucchini noodles to the sauce in the pot. Don't really need to cook the zoodles, you just need to warm them up. It's nice to have a little bit of crunchiness still in the zoodles. And just to finish it off, we're gonna add a little bit of basil. 
So you're gonna take a couple leaves. You could use scissors if you want, if kids are doing this, or you can just take your knife and slice ribbons. Um, and you also may want to add a little bit of salt and pepper for seasoning. So I just added a big pinch of salt and a tiny pinch of pepper. It smells delicious. We have our beautiful zoodles. A little bit of Parmesan cheese. Delicious. Try serving Zoodle spaghetti with some toasted Italian bread. Hi again. Did you enjoy it? What did you think of the Italian Zoodle spaghetti? Leave a comment below and let us know. And consider sharing videos, pictures on social media, and hashtag Poughkeepsie Food Power, POK Food Power, so that we can all see it. Have a great day.